The Prosecuting Attorney's Qualification Commission would have extraordinary authority to hear complaints against local district attorneys and even remove them from office. If it sounds familiar, Georgia lawmakers passed a bill last year setting up the commission, but in that version, the final rules needed to be approved by the state Supreme Court. They've since declined to do it, so this new bill? We have removed the requirement that the standards and rules of the commission be reviewed and adopted by the Supreme Court. Democrats were not on board with the change. The Georgia Supreme Court looked at their own jurisdiction, their own oversight power. They had concerns. They said, we don't think we could do it. So what's our answer? No oversight. As they have in the past, Democrats derided the commission as another way to hold up or even end the ongoing indictment of former President Donald Trump and his allies in Fulton County. There is no doubt in my mind that this is about the former president and Fonnie Willis. It's a witch hunt. And to say to say the least. But supporters of the bill, like its sponsor, Representative Joseph Gullett, said the commission would hold accountable DAs who look the other way on crimes involving employees or friends or who fail to prosecute things like low level drug offenses. Fonnie Willis um, and President Trump stuff is, is, is something that's happening, but that's not the motivation motivating factor of this legislation. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I gotta tell you guys, woke or shall I say corrupt. Black women in 2024 are taking a whole lot of L's, okay? Is this the year of black women taking L's? Especially considering how it's an election year, 2024, in which if you look at the polls, it looks like Trump is going to win in a landslide against Biden after the 2020 election in which Democrats swear up and down that black women saved the country, right? They saved the country, okay, by voting for Joe Biden. So now is it time for <laughs> these same black women to start taking L's uh, in an election year where Trump gets his revenge? Who knows, right? That's kind of what it seems like because we got to talk about Miss Fanny Pack Willis, okay, who is facing a whole lot of backlash and criticism for her alleged affair with Trump prosecutor Nathan Wade, okay, a guy that she hired to go out to Trump in a RICO case in which, you know, allegedly, you know, Fannie Willis was paying this guy taxpayer dollars uh, that ultimately benefited herself. She's going on trips with the guy. She is sleeping around with him, even though he's married. And uh, this has sparked a whole lot of outrage and demands for accountability to happen to not only Miss D.A. Willis, but also to her office in general. And there you have Georgia Republicans essentially moving to reestablish an oversight committee to investigate Miss Fannie Willis, along with uh, an introduction of the articles of impeachment to potentially remove Miss Willis from her position. Take a look. This is back in the news today as the General Assembly is now taking a closer look at her. Fox News Tyler Fingert is live at the state capitol with the details. Tyler. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is facing attacks on two different fronts from state lawmakers over her election meddling case. Today, the Senate announced a new committee that will be investigating her, all while a one member of the House wants to impeach her. Georgia senators had a lively debate Friday before voting on whether to create a special committee to investigate allegations of misconduct by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. We've got better things to do. Let's see where the facts take us. Willis is accused of having an inappropriate relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade and profiting from the prosecution of former President Donald Trump and others in the county's election interference case. We want to know where is our money going and that's what this does. All we've heard is allegations. And most of it come from an ex-wife who may. Despite Democrats objecting, the resolution passed Friday. The yeas are 30 and the nays are 19. The special committee will swear in witnesses and gather evidence, but can't discipline Willis. The sponsor said this is about looking at where state funds went and if there needs to be changes in the future. The reality is, as these new facts have come to light, it has caused great concern not only for us, but constituents all over the state of Georgia. Political ret retribution is what it is. Over on the House side, at least one lawmaker doesn't want to investigate Willis but impeach her. I'm doing my job because she didn't do her job. She brought charges against 19 people that really did nothing other than state their First Amendment right. Representative Charlize Bird from Woodstock says she still believes there was fraud in the 2020 election despite state election officials not finding any. Democrats are shocked at what's happening under the gold dome. We cannot succeed as a country with one of our two main political parties 
embroiled in lies, disinformation, conspiracy theories, and political retribution. So far, no vote on that impeachment. As for the special committee, members are expected to be announced next week. I did reach out to the Fulton County District Attorney's Office today, but they told me that Willis had no comment. Yeah, so you see, now you hear that, okay? Um, so, Fonnie Willis is facing a two-front battle to basically have her removed in some way, okay? You have this uh, panel that is being formed to investigate uh, rogue prosecutors and allegations of misconduct, and then you also have uh, the articles of impeachment being introduced to just flat out remove her, okay? Now, here's the thing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to get her, but I, I do think that eventually um, she's going to be removed somehow because clearly and obviously she is corrupt. Basically, it just depends on how strong the Republicans are down there in Georgia. In my opinion, eh, we should hold out, right, to see, okay, I don't really have my hopes up, but who knows, maybe, just maybe, they'll actually grow some cojones here in this situation and do something, right, actually use the power that they have, but she's overtly corrupt, okay, and this story right here dropped uh, to show her corruption, it is a bombshell audio recording that was leaked from uh, 2021 showing that Miss Fannie Willis uh, fired a employee, Okay, who blew the whistle on the misuse of federal funds. Now, this employee, whose name is Amanda Timpson, uh, tried to warn Miss Fannie Willis that campaign funds were being misused by her aide, Michael Kufe, uh, because he wanted to allegedly use $488,000 of a federal grant earmarked for the creation of a Center of Youth Empowerment and Gang Prevention to pay for swag, computers, and travel, okay? So essentially, you have funds, half a million dollars, that's supposed to be used to create a center for youth empowerment and gang prevention. This guy wanted to use the funds for other things, right? He wanted to buy computers and to travel and, you know, use the funds for things that you aren't supposed to use the funds for, okay? And stories like this is an example of why I believe that um, you know our government spending is out of control because we spend money on crazy stuff like this. And this is why bureaucracy is a nightmare because you end up having so much oversight that there's no oversight and people just get all this money and then they just spend it on nonsense, right? The money never goes to what it's supposed to actually go to, okay? As this center for uh, prevention of youth violence and you know gang activity and stuff like that, it was never created, right? It was never created. And this is not the only allegation of misuse of funds against uh, the DA's office as in 2020. Um, they received a $2 million grant from the Sexual Assault Kit Initiative to help Atlanta Police Department's rape kit backlog. Um, Willis's office has since pulled nearly $13,000 from the grant to purchase computers and spent an additional Twenty-seven thousand on airfare, hotels, and car rentals, according to Fulton County records. So again, you have a history here of misuse of funds. So it's no wonder that you have the citizens of Fulton County demanding some accountability uh, in auditing of the DA's office, who has no issue spending taxpayer dollars in whatever way she wants to benefit herself. So. She had an employee that tried to warn her about what was happening, okay? And the employee ended up getting fired by her. And now an employee is coming out and discussing uh, this issue. And she leaked this audio recording of a meeting that she had with Miss Fanny. Uh, and, you know, I want to go ahead and play this clip so you guys can hear the corruption here. If you had to give me a sentence, what is the sentence thing? Once I told him about his respectfully and in an email about his lack of leadership and the fact that he wanted to do things with grants that were impossible. Yeah, so she's warning Fannie Willis about her aid, okay, spending um, federal funds inappropriately. And I kept telling him, like, we can't do that and questioning stuff. He would take me off projects, tell people I wasn't doing what I was supposed to because I questioned him. Because I understood, I helped write that grant. I knew what was in that grant. He told everybody in front of Crystal, Deontay, everybody, we're gonna get MacBooks, we're gonna do that, we're gonna get swag, we're gonna use it for travel. I said, you cannot do that. It's a very, very specific grant. Took me off. I questioned Junior DA. There's kids in there from out of the, the um, 
the county, all this, took me off junior DA. I did not want to do it. He made it look as if I wasn't doing what I needed to do because I questioned him. Because so, I knew for a fact Mr. Cuffey respectfully did not know what he was doing, so, period. So I respect that is your assessment. Um, it was clear to me that you and Mr. Cuffey were not getting along. And I'm not saying that your assessment is wrong. I want you to really listen to the words I'm saying. Cuffey, and this is my personal opinion to one woman to another, is dangerous to your administration. He tells people, when I reached out to you, he told me, oh, um, you think your word is safe? Um, exactly when you reached out to Miss uh, Willis, she called me and told me, she tell me everything. So once you reach out to her, she's going to reach up back out to me. So I didn't even go to HR. Okay, he put Dexter's something? name on my PDP and I didn't even feel safe going to anybody. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. I have three supervisors that have failed in this field. What's interesting to me, because I'm in a learning curve too, they each pretend to have a relationship with me that they do not have. I guess that's an intimidation tactic. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry that you felt that way, but you, Dexter certainly don't have no relationship with uh, right. Michael Cuffey. You were safe to go those places. Yeah, so you see now you heard that, okay? That's the audio of this woman uh, complaining to Miss Fannie Willis about corruption in her organization, in her office, and uh, eventually Miss Fannie Willis fired her, right? They fired this woman. Uh, even though she felt like she was being intimidated and retaliated against for exposing the corruption. Okay. So again, you know, this is just a part of some of the allegations against Miss Fannie Willis, a track record of what appears to be, uh, misappropriating funds or spending taxpayer dollars in ways that you're not supposed to. And again, this is why I don't like bureaucracy, right? This is why I'm not one of these people that don't believe that we can't significantly cut the budget, right? Because a vast majority of the things that we spend our money on, when we send it to go and fight poverty or to fight gang violence or to do all these things, right, that, you know, we're supposed to be doing, okay, for good reason, it doesn't actually go to that stuff, okay? Half of the time, the money gets misused, it gets misspent, uh, it gets abused, and it never goes to what it's supposed to go towards, right? This is half a million dollars in taxpayer money, federal taxpayer money, that just gets blown, right? It gets blown by bureaucrats, okay, who are corrupt and they're not facing any accountability or responsibility. The government is too damn big, okay? The government's too damn big. Again, stories like this is part of the reason why I say that. Um, but, you know, what you see here is just another example of corruption from Ms. Fanny Pack Willis, who uh, is facing investigations uh, at the investigation, maybe even an impeachment. I think the walls are closing in on her. Knock on wood, right? Something actually happens, okay? But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.